not warm. I am, well, let's talk about who I am. I'm Roger Hansen. I work with a company called Depuis Synthes. We are, or if you're from Canada, that would be Depuis Synthes. Uh, we are in Warsaw, Indiana, and who really cares where Warsaw is because I have products that it doesn't make a difference anymore, but it always did, and I get so sick and tired. I've been with that company for almost 30 years, and I'm sick of, where's Warsaw? Where's Warsaw? Derek's been to Warsaw, haven't you, Derek? I love Warsaw. Yeah, I love Warsaw, too. I've been there now, what, 25 years, so uh, all roads lead to Warsaw. But I work with a creative service creative services department. We create a bunch of stuff for the company and um, I use products. So let's talk about, you need to know who's talking to you and where I'm coming from, right? So I'm with this really old company, Depew, started in Warsaw, Indiana in 1895. I'll save you the entire speech. I've got, a like an hour's worth of content of who Reverend Depew was, how he got his start, and why it doesn't make a difference. What does make a difference is it's in Warsaw, Indiana. And we've been there for an awfully long time, and we're all about getting people back on their feet, right? We're straightening limbs, we're breaking f broken, or fixing broken bones, not breaking. Um, and we're, we're replacing hips or knees, or we're getting people back on their feet, right? That's what we're about. And uh, we're now a part of J&J, &J. that happened a while back, and we're now in integrating with another company, which is another issue of why we need these types of products to get executives connected. So we're this little company, right? The little department in a little company, and I'm a little manager, it's all little, all little stuff, little. And um, we had three when we started, and in 1986, went to nine, and we're, we've shrunk to five. And uh, I call it a fine reduction sauce. If you're a cooker, you're a foodie, you know what a reduction sauce is. That's us. So <laughs> that's a little, little myopic. But, but we serve the entire company of Depew Synthes. And there's now, what, six, seven different locations. That's another issue that we're going to talk about. And so... Our role is we're, we're, we're free to the business. We don't charge anybody back. That's important. Uh, if you come to me, you got a project, we'll get, I'll either do it for you for free or we'll get you out to somebody who will. Not for free, but I'll help manage it. That's what we do. First come, first serve. And the executive, when they walk in, they are king. They rule the roost. It happens for them right away. And we do a number of projects. These are just pictures from productions that we do. We've got a lot of different stuff. And that really doesn't make a difference for you today, but you need to know who's talking to you. And this is us, Creative Services, our brand right here. We protect the brand. We do literature for the business. We do lots of design for different pieces that go out for our professional education, because doctors is our number one, that's our customer, the docs, at the hospitals, at the clinics. We do uh, a lot of different PowerPoints for them. Obviously, they didn't do mine. Um, and we do case studies for data. Everybody wants data. We do promotional items. We do the pull-ups for things that you see around here. We do that for our business. We do our big trade show. We do all the graphics. We, um, we do billboards. We do logos. We do training modules. Um, so I might have to ask Chris about how we can do our training modules better. Uh, we, do, we do lots of mailers, emails, and graphics whether they're video or not, boxes. Man, we even get into the boxes and design. But this is our bread and butter right here, doing the surgical techniques. We help the doctors know how to do our stuff. There's everybody, they know how to do their surgeries, but they don't know how to do our stuff. So we help them look and do ours. And then we do a lot of video. Video is a lot of the number one way that we help the doctors get trained. But, but that's, that's it, right? I promise I'm done talking about that in our little department other than this is what I send out. And there's us in our little parochial outfits, I call our little parochial school outfits, our little matching shirts. But people need to know who we are, and that's another issue, because where are we? Warsaw, Indiana, that's right, that's right. We, I don't get to travel, are you kidding? I mean, the only reason I'm here is because I could drive here today, it's that far, or that close. So really, what Sensory wanted me to talk about was our story. So now you know that we're isolated in this little town of 18,000 people called 
Thank you very much. And I don't care where it is, and neither do you. <laughs> and you shouldn't, but it's remote. And so, really, come on, there we go. The need that we have really began years ago, and it just continued. And it really started, though, with this gentleman, John Collier, bad res. I'm with David. Got to have lessons on how to get my PowerPoint better for my own folks. Um, John Collier is a, a, a very important PhD for us. When you do a hip implant or a knee implant um, and the patient has a problem with it, that implant needs to be taken out and replaced. You get a revision, right? That's what, that, that's what they do. That implant that comes out is called a retrieval. And Dr. Collier studies all of our retrievals and others, our competition. And Collier is a very important guy because we knew that our stuff had a better longevity in, in the body than anybody else's. So back in the early 90s, John Collier started doing video conferencing with us. And with all the different names of people here and aren't here, we've used all their products back home. And he wouldn't travel. Well, that, So what? He's been doing video conferencing. Well, the problem is he wants to travel for other things and we got to connect with him there. So hotel rooms, ballrooms, oh my gosh, how are you going to do that? He started it. <laughs> and then we got to connect these different locations that we have all over the country and the world. We have to support these traveling execs that are out there. For God's sakes, how are you going to do that? We got, you know, I don't have the money for codecs. A lot of people don't. You know what a codec is, video conference code, a box. I don't have that money. They're expensive. Don't have it. Then IT drops video conferencing. It gets worse. IT says, oh, yeah, we're not going to support IT. I'm sorry. I told you I was going to bang on the IT drum. Sorry. IT drops video conferencing. We're not going to deal with it anymore. Who's going to do it? I don't know. Not our problem. So my boss goes, oh, you're going to do it. Excuse me? Yeah, you're going to do it, Roger. Really? That's nice. And then IT goes out in the Institute of Telepresence System. So they get these Cisco Telepresence Systems. Big, they're beautiful, they're awesome, everybody wants to use them, but the executives get them, nobody else does. Oh, and they don't connect to anything else, right? These telepresence systems are really nice, but the way J&J &J does it is they don't connect these systems to anybody other than the other systems. And they have a hundred of them around the world, so who cares? IT doesn't care. In, it, that's the need, I'm still growing the need. That sets me versus IT. I lose, little guy out in the sticks. You know, they're, they're afraid that I'm hunting cows, wild cows, and, and I'm going to get hurt by Indians every day or something. Um, so I begin to chase, and I start chasing Cisco. I like their stuff. Movi. Remember Movi, if you're a Cisco person? I ended up getting a Chicago regional office tour. If you can get to a regional office, sweet stuff. Go do it. It changed you. It changed you. And then, because I went home and I had critical mass in my brain and I had a couple other influential folks, I'm not influential, but a couple influential folks that went with me to the Chicago regional office and I'm back home, I want this and we need that and you need and then you and then give me some budget and then we're going to, none of it happened. So all frustrated, I go back to Cisco and they say, hey, have you, heard, have you ever heard of sensory technologies down in Indianapolis? No. We need to talk to them. And so they did, the in, they did the invitation. And that's when I met Derek. And so these, these images are just stuff that I've taken either screen captures off my iPad or screen captures off a PC. Some of them are photos in a, in a room. But, but then we decided that once we'd gotten Cisco to tell us about sensory, we started you know, looking at, I went from Movi to Jabber to M M meeting on the move to join to Econo to now one. We're going to hang with one, right, for a while, Derek? Okay, all right. We're one for a while. That's good. But what's great about it is it evolves. I like that. I'm not the old guy that gets frustrated by God when something changes. I like that. Why did you change it? I am the old guy, but I like the evolution of this stuff. It's beautiful. I, 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 I get excited, and if you haven't noticed, I have a, I call it, my boss calls it, my personal passion for video collaboration. That's, I have a problem. Hi, I'm Roger. I have a passion for 
video collaboration. There, I got it out. Um, we constantly are, are connecting executives and professional education people, surgeons that we pay to educate other surgeons. We're constantly connecting them. Um, I'm also constantly talking about web conferencing versus video conferencing, as David talked about at the beginning. And the faster that those can converge, I think the happier I'll be. But I'm constantly talking about that, constantly. And um, I like, and I think we all should like, I'll get to that one in a second. My life in my business is this, right? Not just because I grew up in the 60s looking at a television screen, although it did, it did orient me a certain way. But this is my business right here. And I think all of us want to see who we're talking to. I want to see the whites of your eyes. I want to see if you're mad at me. I want to see if you're ready to cry. I want to see all this. Uh, the data, that's nice. I like WebEx, right? But we're a WebEx company, but I'm always fighting against it. I, uh, I hope they're bringing them together. I know it sounded like what David was talking about from Econo, but that, that's happening. That's beautiful. They're back. But I'm always talking about that. Remote t taping executives, we're doing it. It happens a lot. We've got different rooms, like with this gentleman here. That one's in Warsaw. Um, he's sitting there, and that little room goes all over the world. It's not a telepresence room. It's simply a Mac with a Cisco tele webcam on it, the Cisco telepresence camera, and, and, and it goes all over, all the time. We love it. Um, I got to get SMEs, SMEs, and I'm not talking pirates here, SME. You know what a SME is? I'm talking J&J language, subject matter expert. Yes, 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 yes. I have to get them out of my building and out to dinner meetings all the time, and we use video collaboration to do that. Um, executives want to talk to their departments that are in five locations, but they don't want to leave their office. <laughs> video collaboration. Um, executives to lawyers. My son, the lawyer, uh, out in Joyzy. They're all out in Joyzy for us, so we make fun of that. But all the lawyers are in Joyzy because Jane J is a, a Joyzy company. And so I'm literally constantly connecting executives to the lawyers out in Joyzy from Warsaw, Indiana. Um, and executive to executive, those off the phone, off the codec, not in the telepresence suites, where an executive really wants to talk to the other executive because it's something really big, really big, really, really kind of maybe nasty, and they got to talk. We use video tele collaboration. And executives to surgeon tours, another one. An executive that is not in Warsaw, Indiana, because most of them aren't. They're out in Joyzy, but they got to talk to this surgeon group, important surgeons. We again use video collaboration and webcasts. Um, top, middle, and right. All these are executives from different places. Uh, a sales rep, uh, an ex uh, a J&J executive, a PhD in his office that was set up, thank you to my friends at the CSC at Sensory. Um, I am not just a Sensory wonk today, but by God, I, I live by it. This guy got set up an hour before a webcast and he presented, he did an awesome job, and he couldn't say enough about it. Video, tele, video collaboration, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. A quick thing is, because of what we were doing with Sensory, our company, the IT folks, finally said, hey, that's kind of interesting. Maybe we should do something like that. Maybe, I don't know, maybe, what do you think, Roger? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they went ahead and let us do a short-term little pilot project. I'm sorry, but it went with Verizon. We tried to get it with Sensory. It didn't work. They let us go from late 2013, mid 2014. Then some things happened. I lost the ability to play with those toys. Uh, IT just wouldn't support it. There were delays. Sorry, it's more IT stuff that, you know, they just were constantly throwing blocks, body blocks, cross patch. It was just not good. And it ended up that I'm in a parallel universe, right? So IT lives here and kind of talks about video conferencing and video collaboration, but I have to live over here. We're both doing it, kind of. It's an odd thing, 
but we move on. And so therefore, the very thing that I'm supposed to have talked about all along, <laughs> lessons learned. I work with the CMMA. It's uh, an organization of people like me that are managers of creative departments at companies or universities or governmental facilities around the country. It's a good organization. But they wanted me to write about my issues with video collaboration. And I really said the number one thing is bandwidth, 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 and bandwidth. If your network isn't set up for it, or if your attitude isn't to let your network be set up for it, it'll never be set up for it. And my IT at our organization will never be set up for it. Not, not anytime soon. And so it puts me into that parallel universe scenario where, uh, hello Comcast, how much is that? How many bandwidth? Oh, cool, bring it in. And so I've got my own little Comcast scenario, which, uh, no, no offense to Comcast, it's just embarrassing that I have to go down that. You gotta have security. I mean, there's security in the tool, there's security in the vendor, there's security in the network, but you gotta combine them all together and you gotta have it. You just have to or you're not gonna have anything. I, ha I think that, whoops, excuse me, that you've got to have an IT integration plan. You've got to have the ability to work with your IT group instead of parallel universes like I'm in. We'll get there. We'll cross over. Hopefully the worlds won't collide too bad. We'll get there. We'll work at it. You've got to have the right perception. And what I mean by perception, and I'll say this again later, is it's, it's, it's a tool, not a toy. So many people think this is just an executive toy. It's something that, gosh, that'd be nice to have because I could call my, my kids when I'm on the road, or which is nice, and they let you use it. Or I want to call grandma and grandpa and let them see the kids. Yeah, that's cool. You can use it. But it's a tool of understanding, a tool of sales, a tool of marketing, a tool of IT, a tool of whatever. The corporate climate has to be right. And you've got to be able to evolve with it if you just can't stop. And that's something really important. Again, tool, not a toy. I can't mention it enough. You've got to have support. We've got great support. And again, here I go. Um, there's individuals that I mentioned, not just to Stephanie, but to Kelly, our salesperson, and others that have passed through the organization of Sensory that we've known for the years. Good folks, great ability, wonderful capability to make you look good. Wonderful. And, um, you know, the execs got to have it in their head right and they got to get it, they got to get with it, they got to use it, not just talk about it. And, you know, the, the biggest lesson, other than selling it, somebody like me, a spark plug in the organization, I think the biggest lesson is what you see right here. These are, these are actual users, um, some of their first times using and, you know, it really is uh, not just where Warsaw is, but it's just, you got to have fun. You, you just got to have fun with it. And it does. When you're talking to somebody directly, you know, things happen. And fun usually is what happens, I think. And then anyway, that's good business. You have good fun. You're going to have good business. Things are going to happen good. Um, but anyway, all that being said, there's my shameless plug for the CMMA, of which I'm a member. If you're a corporate person, talk to me about it. We'll get you going. Otherwise, thank you very much for letting me go and use up everybody else's time. They are so nice to give me. Thank you.